Today I'm using um, the wreath building templates. We've got a six, five and a four inch template. And I'm going to show you first with the five inch template what I'm going to do. I'm using the press to impress today, but you can use other stamp platforms. And for the purposes of the demo and demonstration today, I'm actually using the pink ink designed seahorse stamps, which are lovely. I'll just put that in there so you can see them. So they're very, very nice. And let's start. So when using a five inch template, or especially for this demonstration, I need a five inch square piece of card. I'm using 300 gram super smooth, which is Craft Delicious brand of card. And to start off with, you need to choose um, a stamp of your choice that you wish to use. And I always place the five by five card in a square position. And my first stamp, I always place next to the diamond shape there. And this will all become apparent when we actually go forward with this. And I'm going to be using um, a brown ink on this stamp. But, so let's get started. I'm going to pick up my stamp. I'm going to ink it. And stamp that once. Then I'm going to turn my card around to the diamond shape. And I'm going to ink up again and stamp. And if you can see, I've just missed out that little corner there. So I can go in again and I can just stamp that little corner. And that is the preciseness of a press to impress or any other stamp platform. And I'm going to continue moving around in the square position and the diamond position. And just make sure it fits in and it slots into these. I'm going to ink up again and I'm going to continue until I have gone all the way around. And that is my first stamp that I've used. I'm now going to give my stamp a bit of a clean and I'm going to remove that one. And I'm now going to choose another stamp from this range and I'm going to use the little seaweed grasses which are there. And again, I'm placing it at square orientation. I'm going to place this grass so that it is coming between from the point of one of the stars around into a curve. And then I'm going to pick that up. And your card will come up because the stamps are a little bit sticky. And I'm going to use a nice um, green ink for this one. And again, I proceed and stamp all the way around. So as you can see there. And that grass will fall in exactly the same place every time as long as your stems your stencil and your card is in exactly the same position
about is a perfect wreath of two different stamps. Then going to wipe my stamp down again. I use new an old tea towel but I will clean my stamps properly later. And if I wish to add uh, something else into the mix, there are little seahorses or little bubbles on the set and I think I'm going to use the little bubbles and I can place these little bubbles into these stars so it's placed in to there and again my card was at a square orientation when I'm setting it up and I'm going to use a different type of ink so I'm going to use a memento and I can continue again and I can just make sure before I put down my stamp that it's in the correct place that I want it and I can proceed by moving continuously in the square format and then the diamond format to continue my bubbles And that is that. So I'm just going to place it in like that. And I'm actually going to put my little magnet in the middle this time. Because as you can see, I've got just a little few little spots where my finger has actually picked up some ink. And there's never anything wrong in stamping. There's just happy mistakes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place a little seahorse in there and stamp that. So there are always ways to cover up how to do a seahorse. And I'm now going to use one of the new finesse alcohol proof dyeing pads from Crafters Companion, which is the Spectrum Noir. And this is for use with your um, alcohol pens. So this is basically a, a dye based ink again. And I'm just going to stamp my little seahorse and I'm going to place him in there. That is the simplest way of using your wreath building template. A wreath from your wreath building template, and that was using the five inch template with a five inch square piece of card and using again the pink ink design seahorse stamps. Thank you for watching.